Oh hi, thanks for watching my video. And welcome to another instalment of making every single sim in every single world related. Getting really into it now. I know I complained about this challenge in the, I don't know, second or third video, but I'm actually having a great time. I'm excited to do this one. So today we're doing Sulani. I don't imagine this one is going to take very long at all. This might be a very short video. We have got the Kiloa family, the Haupili family. I'm sorry if I'm butchering these names. In fact, I'm just going to say this family and then the Nagata family. Now the good thing here is that most of these are already related to each other. So all I really need to do is connect the dots, make them all related. Also this family, they seem to have had toddlers, I guess, sometime while we were playing with another family. So thanks for doing that, that's handy. Now I'm thinking, let's start with this household because I'm not sure, I don't really play with this sim very often. I'm not sure if they can get pregnant or if they can get others pregnant, so I need to find that out to plan what's next, how we do this. So let's take a look. I have a feeling this sim can get pregnant. Yes, okay. Perfect, perfect. So first thing I'm gonna do then is take a trip to another family thinking maybe if this sim has a baby with the Nagata son, that brings two households together, doesn't it? Now I'm actually gonna add, oh he's a teen, I'm gonna add him to family first of all to age him into a young adult, and also because I wanna check his family tree because I can't remember, I know that Layla's not his mum, but I'm not sure if she's married to his mum, so if she's not, we need to figure that out. She is, okay, perfect, so they are married. So they're all in one family tree. So all we need to do to bring these families together is to get him to impregnate Leah. Oh, this is great, you have gotta have a system. It's always good to be strategic in moments like this. So let's just go in for a first kiss. Why are you wearing a jumper when you live on a beach, bro? Oh, just a little kiss. Right, is there, is there somewhere here we can get busy? Oh, I think because I added him to family, can I not get in this house now? Well, that's fine, we'll go home. We've got bed there, we'll be fine. And if we don't have a bed, I'm sure we can find a shower. And if we don't have a shower, there's a perfectly good waterfall down the road, so. Oh, and it's love day. What a day to be doing an experiment like this. Great day for meaningless breeding. Go and try for a baby. Just do a quick little set her pregnancy risk. Don't want to have to duplicate what duplicate work. What's wrong? You can't get to the bed? You can get there. There's room. Yeah, that's what I thought. You can definitely get to that bed. Stop being difficult. Oh, beautiful. I have a feeling these two sims are going to have a gorgeous baby. All right, come on, it doesn't take that long. You're being a bit self-indulgent there. <laughs> okay, go and take... Why can't I take a pregnancy test? Oh, okay, they weren't quite finished. <laughs> you guys really dragged that out. You really did. Oh, dear, this isn't going to bode well for her, is it? She doesn't want a pregnancy right now. Oh, well, you should have thought about that before you became part of an genealogy challenge she's gonna cry oh no oh i'm sorry not really though she's broken hearted oh well we don't always get what we want do we also in case you're wondering where the grandma is i don't know i can only assume she died in fact yeah i can see she died of old age so there you go Right, Leah, let's pop you in labour. Looks like we're having a boy. Go and have a baby. Oh, what should we go with for the names this time? Maybe vegetables? Little baby. Pepper. Little Pepper. Okay, let's age up little Pepper. So I'm guessing now if I click on Pepper... Yeah, okay, we've got the families connected. Now... Layla doesn't show up on Pepper's family tree, but she is related. She comes up on his dad's family tree. So I guess she's 
What, Peppa's step-grandmother? What a stylish kid. He looks like he should be in a little boy band, doesn't he? Well, say goodbye to that. Pop you as a little young adult. Or a big young adult. Oh, they grow up so fast. Wow, Pepper. So is that hairstyle your personality then? Right, I'm going to leave you guys and move on to another house. Would love to stick around, but God's got some work to do. Business is business. You know how it is. So what do we have here? We have the Kiloa household. What's going to be the best way of doing this? Well, they have two girls. Okay, so let's see how this family are already related. Okay, so this two have the kid. Where does the other sim come into it? Is that other sim just not related? You're not related to anyone? No. Okay. Well, then in that case... I might just have a plan. Let me age him into a young adult. He can be hot-headed. He's a feisty one, this one. Okay, so his name is Dwayne. I'm gonna come back for you, Dwayne. So I'm thinking I might age up these toddlers, get them to have a baby with Dwayne. Their baby can have a baby with the daughter in this family, and then that baby can have a baby with the son in this family. That sounds like a good plan to me. What could go wrong? Okay, so we only really need one of these kids to be a young adult. So we'll pick this one. What's her name? Celeste. There we go. Okay, Celeste is a young adult. I assume she is the daughter of these two Sims, but you never know. Okay, she is. Good, good. And now we will teleport Dwayne over here. Here he is. Hello, hot stuff. I'm glad you got your whistle ready because you're going to need it. I don't even know what that means. I don't even know what I'm trying to imply with that. Maybe that by the time we get finished with him, he's going to need some help. <laughs> some mental help, maybe. <laughs> oh, just a little kiss. Go on, do the little kiss. Oh. Uh... Okay, so you guys. Go and try for that. Baby. Come on, guys. No dilly-daddling. Come on. This is just for one purpose. Just get the job done. This is not for you guys to enjoy yourselves. Okay, go and take a prego test. In fact, I'm so confident I'm going to buy you a bassinet right now. Celeste is pregnant. Great. Let's just pop her in labour. Okay, go and have your babe. This one can be called... Pumpkin. Little baby pumpkin. There we go. Funnily enough, this sim didn't actually have a trait on how she would feel about pregnancy, which is interesting. Also interesting is that Pumpkin has the same hair as her sister, or her aunt even. Okay, Pumpkin, time to grow up. Stop being so childish. Oh, Pumpkin's a boy. <laughs> how did I not even read that Pumpkin is a boy? And what a fabulous boy he is. Right, come on, Pumpkin. We're going to, uh, we're going to move house. We'll give you a bit of pocket money. Yeah, so I'm thinking I'm going to move this sim in with the key lower house. The daughter is going to have a baby with this guy. And then their baby is going to have a baby with the guy from this family. And then every sim in Sulani will be related. Move in. Okay, so this kid, Nani, you can be a young adult. Another oversized accessory. How does that end up on so many of my sims? I mean, I get that they're proud, and I'm happy for them that they're proud, but they're just a bit inconvenient. <laughs> okay, so you and Pumpkin, you guys are gonna get it on. And you're gonna have just a little just a super gentle kiss oh yeah that's the stuff that's what you guys tune in for just a little kisses uh try for a baby with pumpkin oh here we go here comes the action why does this table just have one chair here that's so inconvenient it just looks so wrong doesn't it oh are we pregnant what a surprise 
I'm just going to stick her in labour and then we'll have this baby. Think of a vegetable. Um, carrot. But with a K because we're unique. Don't know many other kids with the name Carrot with a K, do you? I think that's probably why my parents called me Carla with a K. Because I'm special, you know? Just so unique. Most people think it's a C, but no. I'm special. Right, let's get you as a young adult. Oh, you look beautiful, Carrot with a K. So now we are going to get you to split from household and move, and you're going to move in with the other family. So you can move in here, join this household. Now here's the thing, before those two have a baby, I'm going to hop into Strangerville and remind myself of who the last sim standing was there. Pretty sure we ended that one in the Roswell household, I think. I want to say Coral is the last one. Yes, Coral is the last one. So here's my plan. Coral is going to have a baby with the baby of the last two in Sulani, but their child is not going to have a baby with the very last sim that's related to every other sim. Reason being is because that sim is related to sims from so many worlds and this baby is only going to be related to sims from two different worlds. So my plan is Strangerville and Sulani babies have one together, Brychester and Evergreen Harbour have babies together, then they come together and then that child will have a baby with the one <laughs> that is currently related to everyone. Does that sound confusing enough for you? Right, Coral, you are also going to split from Household and Move. You're going to move to Sulani. So to summarise what I just said, we are only mixing Strangerville and Sulani today. And then the next two, Brychester and Evergreen Harbour, will we'll be able to link them all. And then from there, we'll just see, we'll just make it up from there. I just want the family tree to be fairly even, you know? I don't want it to be, you know, one parent has loads and loads and loads of ancestors and the other is only related to, like, two worlds. I mean, Carrot's family tree is already quite colourful, isn't it? Just not as... not as much as I would like. But hopefully having a baby with Pepper will change that. So really, you two need to have a son so that that child can have a baby with Coral. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Oh, I guess you're just gonna kiss in midair. It doesn't really matter what the gender is, but the trouble is if you get them to adopt, it doesn't really carry on the same genetics and I quite like mixing all the genetics. What the fuck, where? Let's all just go home, okay? Because this is confusing me how spread out you guys all are. Okay, here we go, so. Try for a baby with Peppa. I'm pretty sure this is where Peppa was conceived as well. Oh, magic. Nice to handle things as a family. So that means there should be, yes, a bassinet. Although I didn't set her pregnancy risk, so she might not have actually gotten pregnant from this. Hopefully she did. Oh, she is pregnant. Good, good for you, Carrot with a K. Let's pop her in labour. So that means that the child that they have is going to be related to every sim in Sulani. And then the child that the child has will be related to every sim in Sulani and Strangerville. Go on, push. Push. You're not alone here, I'm with you. Little baby boy. Little baby sweet corn. The sweetest of corn. Okay, sweet corn, it's your time to shine. Set age, young adult. And then Coral. Your man Sweetcorn is ageing up, so you need to come in here and be ready for him. I am loving Sweetcorn's open shirt look there. I'm going to start using that on my sims more often. Let's just take a quick look at Sweetcorn's family tree. Oh, okay. Okay. I always think it's a good sign when a family tree makes you uh, click and drag. So, this is, this is good. So you guys maybe just go in for your, your first little kiss? Oh, uh, just a little one. And you are going to be super fertile. 
and then go and try for a baby. <laughs> Pepper didn't want to leave the room. He wanted to stay. Oh, Pepper, I know you're proud of your kid, but there are some things you just can't be there to cheer them on for. I know you want to. I've just realised Sweet Corn is the spitting image of Tani. Look at their faces. They're only slightly different. That is what I like to see. I like to see genetics that work. Okay, let's take a prego test. I'm genuinely surprised that um, none of my sims have got like crabs or anything yet. The amount of unprotected woohoo they keep having. And yet no instances of itching or burning or anything untoward. Oh, pregnant. Okay, great. So this baby, it really doesn't matter what gender you have. So you can go... Oh, she's having a boy anyway. You can go in labour. Oh, a baby boy. Lettuce. Little lettuce. Okay, so that's it. Lettuce is the last sim standing in terms of Sulani and Strangerville. Obviously, his grandchild will be the one that has a baby with the remaining sim in, uh, I want to say Forgotten Hollow, who's already related to everyone else. But for now, Lettuce, how about you concentrate on just growing up? Just grow up. Here he is. Here is Lettuce. Someone who does not know how to dress for the world that they live in. Why are you wearing Wellington boots? Why are you wearing double orange? I mean, Jesus Christ, Lettuce, what went wrong? Let's have a look at his uh, family tree, shall we? Oh, cowboy granddad over here. I'm enjoying this. This is great. But this is why I say that I'm going to wait to join the other sim. Because at the moment, the sim in Forgotten Hollow is related to every sim in Oasis Springs, in Willow Creek, Windenburg, San Myshuno, Glimmerbrook, Forgotten Hollow, Brindleton Bay and Del Sol Valley. So that sim is related to all of the sims in like seven, eight worlds. And for this sim, this is the first generation here and it's only four sims down. Whereas the one we left off in the last world, or Del Sol Valley I think was the last world, their ancestor Belagoth was like eight sims up. So I want to build this family tree a bit more before we join the, uh, the first one together. But there we go, that is every sim in Sulani and now Strangerville are related to each other. Next stop will be Brychester. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.